first thing, let, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and go back out to the main page. Um, here, I basically left the main page pretty empty because everyone is going to have a different opening website, um, especially with this left bar and the sidebar. You can put anything from latest, uh, latest or best players, latest news, whatever you may want to put here, and, and we'll go through later about how to put things there and, and what we may want to put there. But as it ships, it's probably going to be just blank, so everyone can kind of do what they want. And the, you know, like I'm going to continually say through these videos, the whole point behind a lot of this is for everyone to make their own game, their own unique game, and not have these games completed 100%, so we're just not mass producing the same game over again. But uh, to register, let's go ahead and register a new person. And uh, let's just call him new, password new, and then we'll just do new at new.com. We submit it, and right now I don't have like any classes or races or anything like that because this was going to be more of a um, more of a mafia. I wouldn't say mafia, but kind of like a SimCity-ish type game. And there's really no point in races and classes, but there may be something you want to add in here to make it different. Say you want mobster as one or builder as another, then you can change things. And a lot of the other videos will show you how to add that in. Uh, we may do that at the end, but we may not. Um, so let's go ahead and just log in under stuff we just used. And it's going to redirect us. And that basically did it. It created a new character. Level 1, our strength, our um, agility, our endurance, and our, our IQ. And no cash, but we can see we're full on food and water and health. And there's probably not going to be anything in inventory or anything like that. Nope. So let's uh... while we're in here let's just do a search just to make sure everything's working on them let's do a, a simple search we found nothing took away some food took away some water so we know everything's working there and yeah, we found a candy bar and let's oop, not tickets go back to our inventory and yep there's our chocolate bar so now let's look into First, let's look at the data, but eh, actually, let's look at the code. Let's start with our login page, which was the first one. Um, a lot of this is pretty simple, and you'll see, as I've stated kind of in the in the beginning video, that al almost all of the login pages are the same. If you want to change them, you know, that's that's your prerogative, and it's probably better that you do change it, but most for the most part, all of my login screens are the same. Um, we, we've linked our style sheet, which we'll go to. We've linked our logo. Uh, then we have our inside. Here's what I did to make the actual. Let me go ahead and load up the style sheet. What the way I've done the style is I've kind of I've separated each one into tables. Each one of these sections right here. This is our first table. This is our second table, and this is our third table to make it a lot easier. Um, if you notice, this table extends out a little further because I was I was actually going to place and I may we may do it in later videos just to show everybody how it's done a little compass here to where you can travel up east west south however you want to however you want to travel and that's why we have this little square here if you didn't want to add a square and you want another idea you could actually add another row of city here um, but to go back to the style sheet let's look at login if you notice our first table is I started the div with a wrapper I just called it wrapper and basically I called it that because it's wrapping around everything all three of these tables the first table I put a border one and that's what you see and then that's the logo um, and then I have a new table and that's just the top table the um, the first actual table which is our left side bar and if you see we have here printed left side bar that's everything that's inside there anything that we want to add to inside that left side bar is going to be added right here which I'll show you on, the, on our actual map um, then the map area is the center one and that's where we put all our form and everything else and it's a simple form we do a method of post we want to post into authenticate uh, we have our username um, let's see we actually changed we actually made each username password and, and submit button is a different div and these are these are all pretty much just basic uh, HTML you have your uh, input type is text the name is user size 15 characters you don't really want to go over 15 characters people don't need to have an, a massively long name 
and then the password the size 15 you want to mask it with X that way they're it's not showing their password and then our uh, submit buttons and then we want to and then if we want to register if we don't have an account we, we first we end this form up here then we create a new form we post it to register and then have a submit button then we end that table we close that table and we start a new table that's now our other sidebar and going back you can see that's what we actually have there in between them there we go let's go back try to get back out to the main page here tell you what let's go a little quicker here And that that's that left side bar, the right side bar. So these are the there's a technically four tables. There's the logo table, and then these these three tables, and then you see our, our forms here. Um, if we look in the CSS, the style.css, you'll see that the standard body. I just I have the background image of background body JPEG, and what I've done here is if we go into our folder and go into images, you will see that here's the background body. Um, let's go and open this up with Photoshop so I can show it. If you see, uh, we're repeating that constantly, and I'll kind of show you show you what I'm what I'm talking about. Repeat X basically repeats it going sideways. The the repeat Y would repeat it going downward. Um, the background color isn't important since I, I'm it, it's black set to black but since I've got a background image that's not important text align I've centered um, the minimum width of our uh, of our boxes are gonna be 500 and then the padding we don't really have a padding this actually isn't super important then we have our wrapper um, the margin left is auto and margin right auto that way no matter what size of screen you have it's always gonna be in the center with the hundred percent basically we're saying we want it uh, the full 100% of whatever it is and then we want to change the font so it's not not ugly and not the normal old font and then we have a font size set up here uh, then we have our here looks like Adobe Photoshop's ready and this is all this is it's a small it's not a full image because what we're doing is we're just repeating it that way you're not loading up this huge image you're actually just loading a very small image and if you look, you can actually see the image. All it is is a little bitty strip that's being repeated over and over again, and that's how you get that, that effect right there. And that's all it is. And you can, if you have Photoshop, and I believe GIMP's close the same way, you can, uh, to create one of these, just, let's do uh, width, let's just do 30, not inches, pixels. By height of let's do the average let's do 600 pixels okay and then that's actually a little big but it'll be fine and then uh, we go down here to our paint bucket and we, we go to a gradient gradient tool depending on what program you're using just find the gradient tool um, then you choose your your starting color and your ending color and let's say we want it uh, red and orange let's do orange let's just do orange and white we just start and there you go there's your gradient when you save that and then you load it up it will actually change that to whatever whatever color you wanted and actually let's go ahead and uh, let me just show you how that would look let's say we want to change this actually I should have deleted the other one but or at least made it white behind it but it's fine so let's save that and now if we reload the image You'll see how that works. Let's go ahead and undo that and resave it so we're not stuck with that ugly color. Okay, refresh it. Okay, so now back to our style CSS. Next we have our panel area. I, I guess I should have called it left panel area, but the it's, panel area is basically your left panel. Um, you'll have your left panel and your right panel, which are these right here. This is your left panel, this is your map, and this is your right panel. 
your left your your left and your right's going to be the same. Border is one is solid black, one pixel. Your width is 200, your height is 500. You can actually do the height as auto. That way, no matter how much stuff you put in there, it will just keep expanding downward. The Z index I put two. It's not super important, but just remember if if anything gets if anything is one or zero, it's probably going to fall behind that panel. Um, and then the same thing with your right panel area. One other thing that you can actually 